This is my brand new 10 inch HS FP drone and it's pretty cheap. Plus, it's ready to fly out of the box, isn't it? Everything in order, right? Oh my god, this thing is huge. Not that huge in terms of capacity though, okay, but it is HS. Why am I even showing you this? Just a battery for the sake of a battery? Of course not. First of all, I've got to say I'm impressed. There are things I really like about this drone. I don't even know how to explain, but it just built way better than I expected. Of course, there are some issues, so we'll get into those later, but in terms of construction, this is a solid drone, especially considering the size. Now, check out the frame design. It's almost a true X, but those and extra supports add a lot of stiffness and you can actually feel it. The FPV cam mounted way out front, as you can see. We've got 3115 uh, size 680 kV motors. As I said, this is an HS build. And yes, we are using an XT90 connector on it. I'm not going to go over every single spec. That's boring, right? You can always check those out on the official website. What I will say is, it comes with his own stack and we'll take a closer look at that later. One more thing I won't highlight, it's got a diversity alert receiver installed, but I do have some doubts about how the antennas are mounted. I'm definitely not a long range guy, but from my limited, my own experiences, the second antenna doesn't seem to be placed in the best place. If you know more about that, Please let me know in the comments. And yeah, even without probes or battery, you can already feel it's kind of heavy. So now the question is, can it actually fly? <laughs> I just want to know your first impression. Oh. Have a look. <laughs> so this is a very first flight, uh, just a test flight. I want to know how it handles. And you know, before visiting some beautiful place in the mountain or something, better to test it so yeah yeah i know it is uh, ridiculous huge but so it is what it is here we go Oh my fucking hell. Oh my shit. Oh, it's still alive. Have a look. <laughs> Fuck hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Got it. Oh, oh, it's still alive. Okay, so I have had a crush uh, and I want to say it wasn't pleasant experience with my life because, uh, you know, it's just 10 inch drone, but we have some suspicious and Ask Oleg what actually happened. Well, the main problem, in my opinion, is that this antenna is not really the, of the proper length. Why? Because uh, the proper length of the antenna for the ERS 2 and uh, 2.4 gigahertz should supposed to be about 50, 55 millimeters. In this case, we have only 40 millimeters. So yeah. there More is a problem. This position, this position doesn't look like a perfect position. Probably on the tail or some over here will be way, way better, right? Exactly, because uh, this type of antenna is actually uh, just giving you the signal in the way where you have only a uh, reception signal which is uh, transmitting from this area. And in this case, when you just turn in, for example, yeah, this antenna... Yeah, across with the body exactly. of the drone itself. Yeah. Exactly, it's blocking by the drone itself. The same with this antenna, because, for example, when you go in from yourself, 
Yeah. This, in this case, is going to be okay. But once you turn toward yourself, uh, you will also block the signal. So the dead point in this case for this drone going to be, uh, I believe, this is this side. So once you go in from yourself like this, it's okay. But once you turn right, you will yeah. block the signal. Actually, what's happened in my case, right? Exactly what happened to you because yeah. you were you were going from yourself. And there, there was everything okay, but once you turn right, as we saw and all, at the DVR, yeah. uh, you lost the signal yeah, that's and right. you got crashed. Well, the conclusion, there are two problems, two types of problems. First, this is the placement of the antenna, and that's the second right. one, this is the type of the antenna. Uh, I believe what we gotta do is just switch the antenna for the better one, yeah. for the better position, and test once again. In this case, I believe we will solve our problem, because like this, you cannot fly along the definitely. Yeah, exactly. we made We made how much? About 500 meters 500 600 meters, yeah. something like that yeah i will check it on the dvr but in the sun yeah i wouldn't call so. this a long range definitely in this scenario no, in this case uh, so we will try it again after some development yep okay here is the scene why gps rescue didn't kick in honestly i don't know but the first and main issue seems to be the antenna placement it's not a big deal i already ordered new ones and as you can see because <clears throat> The size does matter, the old ones were shorter. Alright, let's swamp them out. The front one stays where it is. But the second one, I'm starting using this little mount. Maybe it couldn't have been a little bit taller, but it is what it is. The second issue is the capacitor. Uh, no, not this one. This one is fine. I'm talking about this one, the stock cap that came installed. It's a 680 microfarad 35 volts unit. Let me explain why. That's a problem. HS means up to 33.6 volts fully charged. That's a lot of more than 6S. And when it comes to capacitor, you want at least 20 of such a voltage pattern. So, with HS, a 35 volts cap is really cutting in close. A safer choice would be something like 1000 microfarad rated at 50 volts just to keep things clean and reliable. So, that's it, I'm done. After all these small improvements, the drone should fly way, way better, should be more reliable. And it seems like time for real test, shall we? Superstore's t-shirt? Not bad. Get good.
so it's been a tough day and probably you are waiting for me some conclusions but let's just go home so to sum it up this is a pretty well built drone stable in the air and for its size really affordable if you are into fpv you probably heard of secure they are super known for their soldering station and making quality components. Maybe they don't have tons of experience building ready-to-fly drones yet, but they have definitely done a great job here. So, if you want to try a 10-inch drone without uh, breaking the bank, this could be a solid choice. I'm sure Secure take those small issues into account and you'll get an awesome 10-inch drone on a modest budget. Thanks for watching.